What a ball game from Arrowhead Stadium on Monday Night Football. And the Philadelphia Eagles able to go into a hostile environment after they played awful, awful football the first 30 minutes, and they are somehow able to pull out a win. Jalen Hurts said it best after the game, in which Philadelphia mounted this comeback against the defending Super Bowl champions. And considering how they lost that game in February in Glendale, Arizona, it makes this victory sweet. Hurt saying, quote, we found a way, I don't even know what to say. And a lot of Eagles fans out there, including yours truly, were so stressed out during this game. We were confused coming out of the bye how Philadelphia couldn't manage simple first downs or positive plays. They had one drive in the entire first half that went more than 15 yards. But what has become a consistent theme for this Eagles team under Nick Sirianni, Howie Roseman, and Jalen Hurts, they are so resilient, mentally tough, they embrace pressure, and they win football games. Jalen Hurts is now 26-21, and 21, ladies and gentlemen, in his last 27 starts. If there's a game on a Thursday a Saturday, a Sunday, a Monday, whenever, Hurts finds a way to win. And the number's not pretty at all. 14-22, 150 yards for him, one interception. He was a little bit shaky at times. I thought he didn't see the field clearly. Steve Spagnuolo, defensive coordinator for Kansas City, dialed up blitz after blitz. And because that, of that, Hurts didn't see the field well at all. And he really struggled against arguably the best defense in the NFL. But a part of Jalen Hurts' struggles getting sacked five times in that first half. But the Eagles' defense, really the winners tonight, no points in the second half surrendered. They got gashed in the first half with the Chiefs running attack. Putting up explosive play after explosive play. But Sean Desai, like he's always done this year, making the necessary adjustments at halftime for the Eagles to be able to stage this comeback. And for Jalen Hurts to go on the road and take down Patrick Mahomes, that right there is a statement. The Philadelphia Eagles, first team since the 2005-2006 Colts, led by Peyton Manning, to start 9-1 or better in consecutive seasons. And what are the doubters going to say? A lot of people were saying Philadelphia is not for real. They start off this five-game gauntlet against Kansas City, Buffalo, San Francisco, Dallas, and Seattle with the win. And when you go on the road and you take down the defending Super Bowl champions, can you still say that Philadelphia is not legit? What a fucking win, excuse my language, for the Philadelphia Eagles. And all Eagles fans should be cheering and they should be pumped up. Because part of what football comes down to, it doesn't always have to be pretty. It comes down to getting victories. And now Jalen Hurts has a 13-game winning streak against teams entering above 500. He's a winner taking down winning teams. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tonight, we surpassed 63,000 subscribers. And if you want in-depth Eagles analysis, news, breaking news, live shows and watch parties, we always have you covered. If I would have told you that going into this game, the Eagles would win 21-17, despite averaging 4.4 yards per play and 238 total yards of offense gained. Hertz only threw for 124 yards. The Eagles did run it pretty successfully, 27 times for a buck 14. They turned it over once, but Kevin Byard, interception of Patrick Mahomes in the end zone, they ripped it away from Travis Kelsey. Time of possession, they lost that. And then to the Chiefs offensively, they did have a season-high five drops in this game. 336 yards, four and a half yards per play, 24 of 43, 168 yards. I know that the Chiefs going into this game, 
They have been held back by what has been a lackluster offense, but playing Patrick Mahomes is playing Patrick Mahomes, and it has all of us on the edge of our seat all throughout the game. And the officials tried to gift the Chiefs the game by calling that roughing the passer penalty on Fletcher Cox. So much left to get to, but our post-game show is sponsored by Game Time. If you want to go to Eagles, Bills, still tickets available for that game next week. If you want to go to a comedy show, a theater event, a concert, Game Time is not just limited to NFL tickets. How about the start for the Philadelphia 76ers when the Phillies come back? They just re-signed Aaron Nola. They're going to be a fun team to watch. The only app that you should be using to get seats to events is Game Time. And you're guaranteed to get the lowest price and you can save money at checkout. $20 off using the code EaglesChat. Redeem that code and save some money and see your Philadelphia Eagles here. Eagles clearly making a statement tonight. They continue to be the top team in the NFL, in my opinion. And what have I said all year? They're the most multiple team in the NFL. If they need to win a shootout, they've been able to do that. When they need to come from behind, they've been able to do that. When they have to win a low-scoring, sloppy weather, defensive slugfest, they're able to do that against Kansas City. And Hurts doesn't always play his best A-ball, right? But I do believe that wins matter for a quarterback because they set the tone and they send a message to the rest of the organization. Hertz looked healthy. I thought it was pretty telling that Brian Johnson caught a couple of design runs, whether it be a quarterback draw, a quarterback keeper. Those were design runs for Hertz. He's able to score that touchdown that was big. On that quarterback draw, the brotherly shove continues to be the most efficient, best, and most dominant play in football. DeAndre Swift showing some wiggle in this game. I thought that he played some really good ball. 12 carries for 76 yards. And how about the performance for De uh, Devontae Smith? A.J. Brown was held in check. A.J. Brown had his worst game of the season. And we knew at some point that teams were really going to focus on A.J. Brown. One catch for eight yards. Devontae Smith able to really put on the straps and carry this Eagles offense with their aerial attack. He accounted for 99 of Jalen Hurts' 150 throwing yards. And remember, when Dallas Goddard went out, coming out of that Cowboys game, going into the bye, I had said, kind of working off what Nick Sirianni mentioned as well, that replacing Goddard's production doesn't just have to come from the backup tight end. You can make it up elsewhere with receivers. Saw Julio Jones get involved a couple of times. Saw Albert Oko Abenam on the field. A.J. Brown gets shut down. Devontae Smith, he shines. And when Dallas Goddard missed five games last year with that shoulder injury, Devontae Smith's play, it kind of took off. And think about this. So much was made of this Eagles secondary being awful this year, and they have been awful. And I'm sure that the weather maybe played a little bit of a role. Patrick Mahomes dropped back and threw it 43 times. He only threw for 177 yards. It's time to continue to give Sean Desai his flowers. I haven't always loved how the defense has played in the first half or throughout the game. But in some of these wins down the stretch, they've closed it out with monumental sacks, with the pass rush that's been able to get home. But he's made some great adjustments where the Chiefs, they gashed the Eagles for the most rushing yards given up in a game in the first half this year. They still ran 30 times for 168 yards. But a second half shutout against this Chiefs team and this quarterback, and you shut down the run, you also are able to hold Travis Kelsey to only seven catches for 44 yards. Kevin Byard, have a night. This is why you make a move for a player like Kevin Byard. He wasn't great after Howie Roseman acquired him from the Tennessee Titans, but he had a statement staple game for this Eagles defense. Led the team with eight solo tackles. He had two pass breakups, an interception, he was the one who was tasked 
with having to follow around Travis Kelsey a lot. He did his job. The Eagles in the first half couldn't manage a third down conversion. They couldn't move the ball, and they win this game. A lot, a lot of twists and turns in this game, but for the Eagles to pull out a victory, it is a character-building, momentum-changing victory for this football team. 21 to 17, your final score. I know that Thanksgiving is coming up on Thursday, but we're going to provide you with the best coverage all throughout this week because we do that every day. Birds had the Bills coming up. Make sure you subscribe and celebrate this win. The Eagles are going to celebrate it. Then it's on to Buffalo, right? But for about 24 hours, you can celebrate a dub like this. Subscribe to the channel. Awesome watch party tonight. 221,000 views and counting. Definition of resilience, as Romeo Talon said.